Hello and welcome to Dragon Roll TV. My name is Demix and this is Total War Warhammer 2. And today we're playing as Karak Kadrin, as we have been for a while now, because I still haven't got my SFO back. Uh, although I haven't actually checked it today, to be fair to it, so maybe I'll, I'll check it today and see how if that update for SFO has come out yet. Uh, I also am planning on starting a new campaign soon. I think uh, just doing the Karak Kadrin one is, is definitely getting stale on me. And I could probably manage three on the trot. It might even not be Total War Warhammer 2. It might even be something like Rome. I'm not sure yet. Anyway, on with this episode, which is episode 12. And last time we had just defeated the siege uh, of, from Helmand Gorse and sent him packing. Uh, we are getting raided by Malagor, the Dork Omen, though, and there's not much we can do about it at the moment. We also sacked Eshin. And then return to Castle Templehof with Ungrim. Uh, we're probably going to get some growth, uh, some casualty replenishment now and just wait there for a few turns. I think that's the next best thing to do with him. And we have a rebellion at Mount Gunbad, who is now building a level 3 walls, level 3 growth, and level 3 brightstone mine for the income that that generates. So all in all, everything's looking very good. Um, although I would really like to get rid of this raid so we can get some positive income again. Uh, I don't know how to do that. Perhaps I just need to recruit this guy a full army so he can deal with it himself. Because 727 gold is a lot to lose per turn, especially against someone who's not at war with us. So I'm not sure how to handle this. Anyway, I refuse. what I can do is get rid of Helmin here. And there we go, that's him gone. Take the gold. Yes. And now we're in a pretty damn good position to take on Waldenoff and Eshin and uh, keep pushing our advantage. I think we'll move back into Karak Kadrin this turn and I will get us... You know what? I'll get a couple of archers. Uh, three more archers. And then we'll get a few more things and we'll move down to support uh, Ungrim and take the vampires with two armies and that should really finish it for us. Also, if I give him a big enough army, he should be able to take out these beastmen. So that is the plan. Five turns till we get an extra 1500 gold per turn. And not too long until we can upgrade to a level four dwarf hold and get 1800 gold here. Not to mention Mount Goombad also has a gold mine, so... Once we level this up to level 4, we can also build the gold mine to level 4, which will be another 1,500 gold. Or 1,800 gold? Is it 1,800? 1,800 gold. So pretty damn good. All things considered. So, we'll start here by passing my turn. Well, let's just check our diplomacy. I haven't checked that in a while, I don't think. Can we trade with anyone? No, no one we can trade with. And let's just check on Mount Squighorn. Still sitting there raised. I don't think he's had any heroes back here in ages. I think that's why. It just seems weird that he doesn't take it. The Black Crag would be a great one to take, certainly, as well. Right, just looking at the chances of Confederation. Strength rank 1. Our friends, the Dwarfs, are strength rank 1. So, no chance of them confederating anytime soon, unfortunately. Um, so we need to make sure that we are the ones who take Castle Drakenhof, because that's yet another gold mine. And I'd really like to take the complete set of towns in this area. And uh, I definitely don't want Averheim taking any of them. So hopefully he doesn't, because I don't really want to act yet. So let's pass our turn there, see what happens. I think the best way to play this would be to take Waldenhof and Eshin on the same turn using Ungrim and our other lord who I forget the name of um, and then combine those forces at Castle uh, Drakenhof and that way we will defeat the last vestiges of the vampires aha there he goes Luthor has moved to defend Eshin, and they're recruiting a new army. So I kind of need to move and do something now, otherwise we're going to be faced with more vampires to deal with. Which will not be good. Hopefully the dwarves apply some pressure from Zufbar by taking Ulkenhammer back.
I am so glad I am not down south and having to deal with all that. <laughs> it looks absolutely crazy down there. Green skins everywhere. Another rebellion coming in Averland? <laughs> I refuse. Currently got one and we're going to get another one. Crazy. Wow, we already have walls at Castle Templehof. That's cool. And quick. Anad. Anad. Rune Ricky. Thou art so dance me Arifus. I don't know what he means. <laughs> I hope. I feel like if I declare war on him and attack from here, he's just going to run away. And then I can't chase him down with what I've got. So that's no good. Uh, I think we'll get a couple of warriors. We'll get three warriors. And then that'll probably be enough. Because we're really in the negative now. And I need to keep winning battles at the moment to uh, have a chance of continuing. I refuse. There's 32 men there. Pl plus this guy I as well, refuse. Bruno. That's a lot of people. Never. Part of me feels like I should move for Castle Drakenhof now. Ah, uh, to die in battle. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do this. I'm going to combine these yes. warriors. I'm going to recruit a fresh one, just so we're ready to move next turn. And then... If nothing has changed, I'm going to attack Castle Drakenhof next turn. If they're still just garrisoning it with one, I think we could cheese that and take it. Being a bit cheesy. I think it might be possible. It'll take a bit of coordination, but I think it's possible. If I'm wrong, we're in a pretty bad way, though. <laughs> pretty bad way. So hopefully I am not wrong. Okay, pass the turn there. I have to consider that once I defeat him, I'll only be a tiny bit negative. So I can actually build my army to a point where it can defeat that on its own. Beastmen are just causing that slight complication of, of this this section of the map because without those guys being there, this would be very simple. But now I'm having to plan for them as well. Even though they're not at war with me, they're just, you know, them raiding is enough to cause a bit of a a bit of a problem there. Okay, Manfred's gonna this is this is the time now. So he just had a battle as well, so he's gonna be hurting. Yeah, I think we definitely should be attacking Castle Drakenhof this turn. It might not be possible to win it, but I think I've got to try at this point. Should make for a very good battle either way. I'm very nervous about doing it. <laughs> And every single man counts, so I kind of regret the auto resolve at Castle Templehof again. I feel like I just should have manually fought that as an investment for later, because now... Oh, here we go. Rebellion taking Averheim. No problem, that's fine. Wow, look at that. Ostermark are certainly, certainly coming out well from our uh, our incursions into this area. Averheim lost. That's no problem at all. Peak pass public order. Stop that! Okay, we're gonna get raided again at Mount Gunbad, which is a bit of a pain. Nothing we can't handle. Or not raided, sieged. I mean. I do. Fifteen men against these seventeen should be okay. Even if they run away. Let's do it. Oh, they didn't run. 
Oh, there we go. I expected better, to be honest, but it's okay. Take the money. He's running away. And we'll move to finish him off, I think. My anger burns bright. Should be fine. Lord of Clan Morgrim. Nice easy one. Take the gold again. Because we are in negative, so we need all the gold we can get. And then I will move back to Kadron. Let's replenish. <laughs> um, okay. How are we doing for vampiric corruption? Minus one, but it's not really a big deal, is it? It's really not a big deal. Let's give him Master Rune of Oath and Steel. I'll give him Forge Fire. That looks good. And now... I grow restless. The 100,000 gold question. <laughs> the million gold question. Do we attack Castle Dragonhof now? It's one hell of a garrison, that's for sure. The slayer in me seeks death. Let's do it. Oh god, I'm so nervous if we lose. This is such a big deal. It will definitely be cheesing it if we do it. Which just means I have to rely on the amount of archers that I have. And even if we win... Oh god, I'm so nervous to do it. Um, you know what we could... Oh, we can't. The attrition as well. Goodness me. We're in a bit of, bit of a pickle. I don't have to move. So No, you know what? I'm going to be clever for once. I'm going to be patient. <laughs> that will stop. Maybe it will. Maybe it will. But nevertheless, I think it's the best idea. Let's just finish off his army. Yep, that looks good. And then we can actually come together at Waldenoff and proceed from there. I did want to attack Drakenhof, I really did, but I just, I'm just not convinced that I can win that battle, so it's a little bit daunting. <laughs> I'd have liked to underway across to Eshin with that army. That would have been the best outcome. But um, actually, I still could. What I could do is siege Eshin first. You know what? That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to siege Eshin so that they can't be intercepted. And then underway across if we can reach with, uh, with our other lords. And that brings our armies together. And uh, should be the best way of doing it. Let's see. I might need to wait one more turn before we do that, though. And Mount Gunbad is once again under siege. Another research done there. Lord of Clan Morgrim. No, we can't reach there anyway, so it doesn't really matter. I guess we could if we moved out first. The runes. Cease. I must fulfill my slayer oath. We could also get rid of this army for ourselves. Sack Eshin again. Let's see how much it's worth. I am the Slayer King. Seven hundred. Not worth a great deal. I'd wither first. 
Waldenhof. Six man. Can we can we reach that? It looks like we can reach that. We can definitely reach that. Okay, hang on. Do not mistake me for the fool. It's not a mistake. You've got yourself into one hell of a trap. <laughs> one hell of a trap. All I need to do is move these guys here. That's perfect. Let's move our guys there. We'll do it in the underway. Will we? Yeah, that's the underway will be close enough. And then that saves us taking attrition. First, we'll siege it. So hang on. Let's do this. In circle. And then we'll get Grimly right there. And this should be a fairly easy fight. Let's see what this looks like. Nice big open field. Perfect. <laughs> The Battle of Waldenoff. This should be a really good one. <laughs> a lot of elite units here. But I think we have an incredible archer superiority and our dwarfs. That's just ideal. That's perfect. Let's just go over here. And then they'll just slot in here. With a similar army. Flank protection. Ungrim. Garim. I shall have Garim over here on the flank. Ungrim here at the front. Uh, Quarrelers a little bit further back. Goblobber. Like that. Let's pull one of the Slayers back here. For the ancestor gods. It is a reckoning. That looks good to me. Let's do it. No faffing about. No faffing about. Grimly Brainwright is here. Brinbright, even. <laughs> yes, then. I wonder why they say don't skirmish. They're, they're determined, though. They're determined that we should not skirmish. <laughs> not them if they get close. Okay, we are looking good. And it looks like they are waiting for us, which is absolutely fine. For the Let's do this then. Let's didn't expect it. I thought they'd come Dwarf to warriors. us because we have the artillery, but the oh, hello! Unite. Don't know how that's happened. Well there we go. Go like this, please. This is one hell of an army. Let's just slow that down for a second. You know what we need for this? We need some music. Have I got the sound music on? Let's just check. I haven't got it on. It's just missing, isn't it? Hopefully it comes on now. That's better. Oh, feel the tension now. <laughs> okay, what we're going to do is we're going to move to plug this gap so they have to cross the water. Archers behind. Catapult, and as soon as the catapult's in place, they'll come to us. Ungram in the center, Garrow on the left, guys on the right, and then we'll have the Slayers, one on the left, 
One on the right, and the miners will have them next to the catapults. For some flank protection slash rear guard protection. You must feel so safe in the beginning, being like back here or an archer, you know? And then if you're like one of these guys, like, oh god, I'm probably gonna die. <laughs> okay, open fire. Load the goblins! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's such a great unit. Goblins used as ammunition, both by the greenskins themselves and by the dwarfs. It's not a good time being a goblin. And that, as we expected, has forced their hand and made them come to us. Have these guys facing the left. Those bats will not last long doing that. And <laughs> the far kill's already dead. Let's station these warriors this way instead. Send our runesmith in there. And they are really not getting any flanking today. No flanking getting done. Things are going well for Ungram. Get our miners in on these fell bats. Try and clear the uh, catapults, make sure they can continue to fire. Slayer is annihilating these black knights. That'll do. Let's get these miners firing in this mosh pit here. Should be good for them. Where's Ungrim? Having a good time beating up on dead lords. The lord over here is fine as well. Our miners on the right flank are not having a good time though. Let's instead fire on these grave guard. I think we're firing too much into the back of them there. Let's move our spearmen, our our warriors over here to support this flank, which is falling in. Oh, it's okay. Never mind. They moved in there. That'll be okay then. Let's move these guys to flank now. What's happened here? I wonder if that's been our influence. I wonder if the explosives hurt him too much there. As far on the grave guard with great weapons there. Take them out. And he's retreating. I didn't expect that of all things. They are breaking through the middle here as well. these slayers to finish off these bats. Come across here. Whoa! <laughs> I think we just hit our own uh, our own men there with our catapults. Not good. Okay, it's time we take out these corpse carts. First, let's take out Luther, though. Let's take out Luther. Get rid of him. We'll have Grimly come in here and back up. Oh, there we go. They're about to fold. Their morale's breaking as soon as Luther died. And that's the end of it. A really good battle for us. And not too many deaths. 
on the side of the dwarfs. Ungram only four kills, but I think probably maybe two of them were uh, generals, so not such a bad thing, all things considered. As expected, most of the quarrelers, absolutely fine. Warriors, however, different story. <laughs> it's not a fun time being melee infantry in Warhammer Total War. <laughs> okay, let's occupy Waldenoff. Take it for the clans. Raise the banners. Grudge removed, Luther's dead. Loads of their agents dead. A great victory for the Dowie. And the Dowie definitely feeling confident now. Rune Ricky. Rune Ricky. I don't know what that means, but it sounds impressive. <laughs> Hopefully they don't they don't wait too long before attacking my gun bad as that's a big source of money. And it's a real shame we don't have uh Crom Peak so I can really stabilize the public order, because like it's gonna rebel again before we even uh get it stable. I don't know what to do about that. I'm probably going to have to send an army to support it. But first we need to take Castle Drakenhof, get rid of the vampires once and for all, and then we'll do that. So let's pass our turn there. Oh wow, they're moving to attack us. Did not expect. Epic battle for Waldenoff continues with Manfred himself and Bruno Pafbach coming with some incredibly elite graveguard, which I do not know how he got them or where he got them from. But nevertheless, he has them. And so we will be fighting for what appears to be the battle that will decide the fate of the vampires and perhaps the dwarfs. And we'll do so next time. I'm going to end the episode there on a little cliffhanger. How thematic. <laughs> How exciting. But I hope you enjoyed this, guys. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe. Uh, and uh, feel free to give me a comment on what things I could do better or differently if you are enjoying it. Or perhaps if you're not. And I will see you in the next video.